The Minister of Territorial Administration calls on international observers for the double legislative and municipal ballots in February 2020. For more details on this, please stay tuned after the break. Please subscribe to this channel and also hit the notification button in order for you not to miss out on any of our videos. Atanganji in a note indicates that the files must be deposited with the mail service of his ministerial department at the latest on January 20, 2020 at 3 p.m. After the presidential election of October 7, 2018, a post-electoral controversy had erupted following the presence in Cameroon of false international observers. In the aftermath of this election won by Paul Bia, these self-declared observers gave a press conference. On Cameroonian state television CRTV, they were presented as working for the NGO Transparency International. Asked about the ballots, they couldn't stop praising. One of them said, I found that it was a great serenity and a great democratic emancipation. Another declared that, what I saw yesterday during the count, it is a real lesson in democracy. It was very educational, very educational. Only, the denial of Transparency International was not long in arriving. In a statement released, the German-born NGO Transparency International recalled having no team of international observers in Cameroon and spoke of an unacceptable usurpation of title. Please subscribe to this channel and also hit the notification button in order for you not to miss out on any of our videos.